Hi friends, welcome on board for another project. I'm sure you have experience with this simple rectifier project. I think it's one of the first circuits that every electronic beginner tries to experience. So it is basically consists of a step down AC transformer. In this case, it is 220 to 12 volts, a bridge rectifier and an output capacitor. Of course, some loads at the output. Here my load is a DC load that draws around 100 millivolts from the output. The problem of such circuits, I mean this rectifier, is that the huge ripple at the output. Uh, so in this case, I draw 100 milliamps, but the output noise or output ripple is around 830 millivolts peak to peak. It's very high. Although the output capacitor is not low, is uh, 1000 microfarad. However, such a huge ripple is not suitable for the majority of applications. So you might say, okay, just use a bigger capacitor like this. It is good, 4700 microfarad. So I will test this and you will see it does not fix the problem. So. 4700 and there we go now the output ripple is around 200 millivolts peak to peak still is high however the output current is just 100 milliamps even for 100 milliamps and using such a big capacitor we still get 200 millivolts peak to peak at the output let me increase this to, let me increase this to 200 and you see around 380 millivolts peak to peak so the problem persists how many capacitors like this you want to put at the output such a big capacitors in nowadays devices you have to design the device as compact as possible not using such big capacitors when it's not necessary so I will introduce a circuit to solve this. That circuit calls a capacitance multiplier. So follow me to Altium Designer and I will show you the circuits. All right, as you see, here is the homepage of Altium Designer where you have access to Learning Center, all of these tutorials and etc. I shared this project for free on Altium 365. So if you don't have the Altium on your computer, I have put a link in my YouTube video description that allows you to download the latest version of the Altium, so far is 23.3, and then activate it with a free legal license under your name, a free legal license. Using that legal license, you have access to Altium 365, then you can download this project and do whatever you like anyway let's go to the schematic here is the schematic of the capacitance multiplier of course a modified version here is the AC input bridge rectifier and the DC output I don't go through the theory you can find the tree on the internet uh, let's go to the PCB here is the PCB layout two layers PCB board and all of the components are through hole. Except for the placement of the components, I have also followed two other PCB design tricks as well. The first one is using these polygons, I mean this red polygon on the top layer and this blue polygon on the bottom layer. These polygons help to reduce the length of the ground pass. That means, for example, this resistor and this capacitor are connected to ground using the shortest possible pass in a star shape. The minimum benefit is lower noise at the output and better performance for the circuit. However, the second trick is that you cannot use, I mean, you cannot cover all over, all over the board in whatever design, in whatever board, in whatever situation. It, you have to be careful where you put these polygons. That's why in the second trick, I have not covered the input using polygon. 
using polygons because the input contains AC voltage. I realized it's not wise to cover the input as well. And you have to be careful in your circuit. It is a good method, but you have to be careful where you use it. The clearance for the board is 0.3. So in the rules, I have defined the clearance to be 0.3. And also I have embedded a heatsink for the transistor. So you can put a heatsink to dissipate the heat for the transistor as well. Let me show the board in, show the board in the 3D mode as well. So here is the 3D view of the board and the bottom side. Okay, let's go to the breadboard. I will test the board. And of course, your results on the PCB is much better than the breadboard, uh, uh, of course, definitely. All right, as you see, I have assembled the circuit on the breadboard. So channel one is connected to the output of the rectifier. That's uh, first capacitor. If you remember, it was around, the noise was around 850 millivolts peak to peak. And channel two, this pink waveform, is connected to the output of the capacitance multiplier. The load is 100 milliamps. And the output noise is just around, I can say 13 millivolts peak to peak. And I believe this is even lower than this because I just test the circuit on the breadboard. These ground leads of the oscilloscope probe pick up some environmental noises as well. And if you build this on the PCB, which I introduced in the previous section, you, you can even get lower noise and test the output noise using the ground spring. So everything is pretty clear. The only disadvantage of this circuit is the voltage drop across the capacitance multiplier, which can be solved easily. Just apply higher voltage at the input that compensate the voltage drop. So let me increase the load to 200 milliamps. So here is the difference is even more clear. Uh, the output noise without using the capacitance multiplier is 1.5 volts, it's huge. The output ripple, I mean. And the output noise from the capacitance multiplier is just around 13 millivolts peak to peak, no actual difference. Do you see the, dis the advantage? So the advantage is much, much higher than the disadvantage. The disadvantage was just the voltage drop. So it's a very useful circuit. Just follow the PCB and solder the components and have fun. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. See you in the next video.